Alright, so we in the studio with Trax. Uh, what up, Trax? How you been, man? Everything good, bro. What's cracking? Uh, yeah, yeah, man. Hey, so I want to talk about this because you are a, a preacher, right? Yes, sir. You are ordained officially. Yes, sir. And you be out there preaching the gospel, right? Yes, sir. So uh, that's what we all about, man. Uh, we, we come together. You know, I was in a group with you. You know what I'm saying? We we seen like another a whole different way that most people dream of seeing. You know what I mean? And we weren't even on that type of level, right? right. And we wanted that life. We wanted to to get signed. We wanted to be on this label. You know what I mean? Yeah. We, we we fought for it. We was practicing what five years together. You know what I'm saying? And, and we got pretty close, right? Yeah. And God called us, yeah. both of us, at different times. And we sitting here talking today, and that still like just just gives me chills, man, just to see because. I get it while we're here now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We come together strong and to show people, look, the industry is messed up. Yeah. It's messed up. It's, it was messed up then, and it's definitely messed up now. Right. You know what I'm saying? So what is your, you know what I mean? Like, you still do music, you know what I'm saying? But what are you trying to do right now? Are you going to be signed, or what are you doing with your music? Um, nah, to be signed, that used to, no, that used to be my goal. I'm about to get signed, I'm going to get money, and we're going to do it. Um, but now, man, I think I'm more concerned about the message, the message of what I'm trying to spread. Um, not to say I'm preaching, but like the Bible, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Bible, says, Bible, Bible says that like life and death yeah. are in your mouth. Yeah, and, you know. And I realized, like, bro, I was speaking death. You know what I'm saying? Talking about sex, drugs, girls, and you know. Many, why, why would you say that speaking death? Uh, because many times people, uh, people when they hear music and the message that you're giving them in music, they go try to do what you're telling them to do mm -hmm. in music. I remember 50 Cent had a song, all of them, I don't hear people say, somebody gonna die tonight. Dang. Bro, I ain't never been a thug in my life, but I'm like, I'm about to kill somebody tonight, <laughs> <laughs> bro. Like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? So it hits you, it hits it, you. It hits it's you like, in your heart, right, bro. Yeah. Music is universal, you know? You think about devil, Satan, music, minister of music. Like, all this stuff you speak out of your mouth, it broke something. But that was cool to you at one point. Huh? All the way, bro. So why, how, uh, how is it, what does it look like now? You know what I'm saying? It's, it disgusts me now. Because you're older and you just realize what he's actually saying. Somebody's gonna yeah. die tonight. You're taking innocent people out of the world, right? Yeah. And, and like you said, that movie, that music moves you right. to do something, to, to make you something that you aren't, you know right. what I mean? To make you do something that you wouldn't usually do, right? Right. So yeah, yeah, so I mean, with that being said, like you speak life in your music, like name something or say something about what you, what would bring life to people. Um, so I, I, I'm kind of complex because I preach Jesus all the way in my music. Um, but I think that we gotta be uh, strategic with the way we're doing it because you're not, I can't go to an unbeliever and just say Jesus, Jesus, Jesus all the way down the throat. But what I can do is a song about love, right? And I can make it so cold that you won't even know I'm talking about Jesus, but it's gonna yeah. be at the end of the day like, yeah. Jesus, whoa, that was dope. The word of God is life to me. So I wanna do stuff that will pull people out of the slums. So if you feel like depressed, I wanna let you know God will give you joy. If you feel like anxiety, I wanna know God will give you peace. And I'll try to put that in my songs, you know what I'm saying? And so that's how I speak life. I might not give you 100% Bible scripture, but I'll take what the Bible says and I'll orchestrate straight through. How do you feel like, okay, so we should do secular music back in the day, you know what I'm talking yeah. about? Like all that, all the songs we used to do. Yeah. How do you feel with talking about this music? Like, like talking about this message instead of that? Yeah. What we used to talk about. Um, you know what? I actually, uh, it's a better feeling. I remember when I was talking about uh, sex, drugs. For a minute, I loved, like, I never did drugs day in my life. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, but I, 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 it just was cool to me. You yeah, know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, hey, this is dope. Everybody else is talking about this. Now let's talk about it, bro. I remember. How, how is it cool if you never done it? Exactly. Because I was so used to what I was seeing and hearing. Yeah. You know, so what you what 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 Ludacris said made me think it was cool because I thought Luda was cool. Yeah, you know what yeah. I'm saying? So and many times that's what we do as consumers. We listen and we we the same boat, we imitate. Yeah. We imitate, bro. And that's what the devil is all about. Is imitation. The devil. The devil is all about is imitation. So yeah. It, the more you put it in your ear, the more it's going to come out. So this is the thing I look at nowadays. You have music everywhere. Yeah. Music is everywhere, yeah. right? And you have to guard your avenues, yeah. right? But music is everywhere. We got, we got 
uh, speakers smaller than, you know what I mean, mm -hmm. like this, you know what I'm saying? And music is everywhere. Yeah. So what are you playing all the time? They have uh, speakers where you can put it in any situation you want. Right. So I look at that and that's dangerous. Yeah. It's dangerous to people that are listening to negative stuff all day long. Yeah. There's a book that I was reading, it's called Think As A Man Thinking. So if you, it's what you think. Mm -hmm. So if you're hearing something, you're gonna think it, right? Mm -hmm. So you heard this stuff and it made you think mm -hmm. like, Sh that's the life I'm living, right? right? Yeah, I, I was in garden that Crazy, um, like, so that's how important it is to guard, yeah. right? I was in guard my ears, I was in guard my eyes, you know, like the Bible talks about guarding this stuff, you know what I'm saying? Like guard what you let in your head mm -hmm. because uh, as, as a man thinketh, so is he. But if you say something, I it might get to me where I walk into your house thinking about what you said. You know what I'm saying? And so music's the same way, bro. Like people get pregnant off of music. You know what I'm saying? Like because these words and this 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 music sets an atmosphere. And so I could be in my car, and what I'm allowing in my ears has now created an atmosphere in my spirit. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. And so we gotta be real careful, man, because we look at it as I used to just be like, ah, it's just music. It ain't gonna affect me. I used to say something. Bruh, but now, like, this stuff really affects you, man. It really does. And you gotta guard yourself. You gotta think about what you're thinking about. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, this is the truth. Yeah, yeah. And so, yeah. That's a big thing. Think about what you're thinking about. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Because without, without, without thinking about what you're doing, you're just walking in these steps. You don't realize that you either walk this way or that way. There is no in between. Yeah. So you're either gonna go down the wrong path or you're gonna go down the right path, yeah. depending on, but, whether you're conscious of it or not, if you're not conscious of walking the right path, because yeah. that's how that's how that's how distracted we are. We are that distracted where you are naturally going to go down the wrong path. Yeah. You have to fight for that right path yeah. because you have to think about every step. Because we got distractions coming at us yeah. day and night, 24 hours a day. Yeah. While I always say while we're sleeping, they got somebody out there strategizing every single day. Yeah. So think about the days we're not sitting there uh, strategizing how to be the best us we can be or to keep ourselves intact. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Most people aren't even themselves. Yeah. So that's the crazy part. I struggle to find out who am I. Yeah. I'm, I was surrounded by friends at one point. Yeah. And when I lost those friends, I didn't know who I was anymore. Yeah. I didn't even know what 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 I liked, what what jokes were like, I didn't know nothing. It was crazy how I just didn't know who I was. But I was separated for a whole year, and God sat there. I couldn't even reach out. I tried to reach out to people, and they just pulled away from me. Yeah. And I'm sitting there, and I'm like, it took me a while to realize what that was about. But yeah. basically, because I had to cleanse everything I've learned from these people, get all the distractions away from me to find out who I am. Yeah, that is a struggle. Yeah. We are forced almost. When we, when we put our attention to everything that's going on in the world to be something we're not. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and we are so much more than that. Right. I see you. This dude right here, I've always uh, admired you because your stage presence is amazing. Oh, I know. Yep. It's amazing. Yep. Like, uh, one time when I see you, when you first left the group, it's like, oh, Patrick's really do it. I don't know. I don't know. I see him <laughs> on stage over there at, um, at uh, I, I always remember this, man. This is how, this is how uh, impactful your performance was. We were at a uh, uh, Cal State University in San Bernardino, yeah. and uh, man, I don't know where I was sitting, <laughs> but man, you lit that up, and I'm pretty sure you do it now, I just haven't seen the show, but yeah. that's the one I remember, because you were by yourself holding it down, I was like, man. But you know what I contribute that to? And this is uh, this is crazy, because the Bible, I'm sorry, that's what I to talk, the Bible says, uh, while you were in your room, <laughs> while, 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 while you were in your room, I knew who you were. While you were in your mother's womb, he tells Jeremiah, yeah. I knew who you were. And yeah. I feel like, so, even through through all my secular um, sign days, TYE, you know, all that stuff. I feel like it was all preparing me for where I am now. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like people yeah. to this day, they ask me, dude, you're amazing on stage. And I tell them, you know what? My manager used to make me stand in the mirror for five hours, yeah. performing, yeah. Yeah. mess up, do yeah. it again. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So thank God for that. Yeah. But you so had to make that choice though. I had to make the choice. Yeah. I made, which was the hardest thing I ever did in my life, bro. Believe that. Real oh, he was on MTV too, y'all. Uh, yeah, <laughs> no, yeah. He was, always, he was <laughs> on MTV, and I saw the performance, which was dope too, man. You guys, that was crazy, bro. You guys was up that, there. That, that was crazy. Like I tell people that, like this. When I really say I love my man, the old, my old managers, Kelso, like I really loved him because, like, bro, this was the hardest thing. They let me stay in their house for years, mm -hmm. for years. Like my mom moved, bro. So it's like 
God was like, I'm confused, bro. I'm like 18. So I'm yeah. like, God, why would you tell me to leave them? This is like my family, yeah. but I feel you're telling me to come up. And bro, it was the hardest thing. And I, I didn't know how to communicate it. Yeah. So like a punk, I just disappeared. <laughs> you know? kids, man. Bro, <laughs> That's what we do, that's what we do. Bro, and I felt bad, because now it's like, you know, they say God's not a God of confusion, but there was a confusion stage when God was calling me. Like, I didn't know where the heck. Yeah. I was like, I'm gonna try you, God. <laughs> you know yeah. what I'm saying? But yeah. At the end of the day, people don't realize, like, this isn't, my life isn't my own. Yeah. I was sitting here on a, on, 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 a, on a purpose. You were sitting here on a purpose, right? Yeah. So how can we be mad because we didn't know what God was doing at the time? Right. He moved it. I didn't move from you guys. He put it in my heart. He gave you the desire of your heart. Yeah. And your desire was to do God's will. Yeah. And that's why he removed you from that situation. Mine was. Yeah. Mine was. I prayed with the car. I said, hey, God, I don't know what this is. I just, I feel like I, if it's going to be this easy, I don't want it. Yeah. And then like less than a month later, I'm out of the group. Yeah. But that's because we made a decision in our heart. So I, I try to let go. Like, I know like, God, that wasn't your will for me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I just feel like, dang, like, bro, I hate, I hate, like, even with you, bro, like, uh, I'm like, I'm like, dang, I suck as a friend back in the day. Like, I'm going to put this on me. <laughs> <laughs> no, but this is real talk, bro. Like God, God started showing me me. Like I was a messed up dude, bro. Like, man, I was messed up. Dog, I'm like, I use this dude. I'm talking about you. No, I'm like, man, show me everything. You use me, and I probably use somebody else. But that's the truth. And I'm like, bro, forgive me. You know what I'm saying? Because I never want to be that person. You know what I'm saying? But the, the thing is, sometimes you're that person, don't even know you're that person. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You feel me? But it's not your fault. I right. Mean, you, I was blinded, bro. But yeah, but it's, it's, <laughs> it, it was your fault. But, but it was my fault. But I'm saying it's not our fault to the point where we have to keep holding on. It. Correct. Yeah, let it go. Let no it go. condemnation. That's yeah. why you're here. Because yeah, God says it. I looked at it too. I was just thinking about it today when I was uh, uh, talking to you. I was like, um, God says to forgive people, right? Yeah. Like, imagine if I didn't forgive you, we wouldn't be doing this mm -hmm. thing. What if this comes out to something? Yeah. And God was like, you see why you forgive? Because yeah. what you went through, you guys just didn't understand what I was doing. Right. You guys fighting each other. Like, look at me. Right. Me and Paula's relationship, you know why it's so good? It's because when I mess up and she messes up, yeah. we don't look at each other sometimes. When it's that bad, we look at God. What do you want? Yeah. And, and then we hold it together. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Most people will look at each other and fight and leave. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, I pray to God and she prays to God individually. We have our own relationship with God. She knows her part with God. I know my part with God. Yeah. So when we fight and we can't figure it out, we go to God as a but Which is good yeah. because it's that. <laughs> yeah. So we wrestle not against flesh and blood. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Against spirits. And so many times, oh, yeah, yeah. even as married people, bro, my wife will piss me off. You oh, yeah. you up. And, I'm, and I look at her like, you the Vice devil. Versa. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Bro, like we have to start. Like, when you really want to, vice versa, right there. This is true. Because when you really want to love, like we're supposed to be imitators of Christ. So when you really want to love like Christ, you'll never do that if you're fighting directly. If I'm looking at you like Nate, you're dirty. Yes. Because yeah. there's a spirit in you yeah. that I need to be confronted. Yeah. So that's why in the Bible, if you read it, I'm going to give you a Bible. In the Bible, uh, Jesus calls Satan, I mean, uh, yeah, Jesus calls Peter. He says, get away from me, Satan. Yeah. And Peter thought yeah. in the flesh, like, whoa, I ain't Satan. Yeah, but yeah. no, it's that uh, I see something in yeah. you. Mm -hmm. So as real friends, I gotta be. And this, thank you, God. I gotta be able to call. <laughs> sorry, man. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, I gotta be yeah. able to call out what yeah. I see in you. Yeah. Because if I really love you, I can say, Nah, bro. Nah, that, that's not right. That's that's not you. Yeah. That's not who God created you to be. Yeah. So that part in you, come out. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. And so I think as married, yeah. like, just as people, bro, we so fast to fight one another. Oh, yeah. Instead of fighting what's in one another. Yeah, yeah. So how do I fight for you? I pray for you instead of curse you out. Exactly. You get what exactly. I'm saying? So exactly. we gotta continue to do that because, stuff. Because if you fight that person yourself, you putting the power on you. You think you have the power to change this person. Yeah, you bro. Know you can't right? thank God. Like you can let God do uh, the industry though. Alright, so the biggest thing, man, like, um, do you uh what do you see in the industry right now? If you like, you know what I'm saying? If, if, People are looking at you like, trust me, I want to be a singer. I mean, I want to be a rapper, a singer, whatever. I want to be in the industry. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't think that they, I don't I don't see everybody going through that. Maybe it's just their deal, whatever they took. Mm -hmm. What would you say? Is it everybody? Would you say it's the whole industry? Would you say, should they be a part of it, not a part of it, even a little bit? Mm -hmm. like, what do you think of it? So, I don't think, um, I don't think that the whole industry is evil. You know, I think that honestly, um, God is so strategic. Go place people exactly where they want to be. You know what I'm saying? So you hear everybody say the whole industry is full of Illuminati and blah, blah, blah. That's no, I don't think so. I think that if that's what you think is your call, if that's what you think is your call, not your desire, 
because your call and desire are two separate things. Yeah. So if that's what you think is your call, I would say most definitely, hey, pray to God and say, God, is this where you want me to be? Because many times we'll try to put ourselves somewhere mm -hmm. and we'll say, I want to be in the industry when it's like, nah, I just want to do music and I want to be successful. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Two separate things. Mm -hmm. So industry, we think flashing lights, naked girls, all this stuff, because this is what we get presented to as the music industry. Yeah. That deceitful, because that is not really what I think God would desire for you to be. So it's yeah. God, yeah. Let, let me know what my true heart's desire is. Yeah. Because I used to be like, exactly. I want to be in the industry. I want to be famous. Yeah. I want to have girls. Mm -hmm. This is what I thought. You want to have a girl, like multiple girls? Multiple girls. <laughs> <laughs> multiple girls. Being real. Yes, sir. Being real. <laughs> the more the better. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, you, but you're not like that. No, no, no. no, 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 no one more. Right, one more. Right, but now, bro, um, the industry, man, if I could give it, um, if I could give it one word, just one word, I would just say deceitful. Yeah. I would say it's deceitful because it has you thinking of something that's really not. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Why do you think people want all these girls? Oh, because once again, it's what we see. Mm -hmm. So at, if my daughter, I mean, as a little kid, if a little kid don't know no better than nothing, and all my daughter's doing is looking at me, whatever I'm presenting to her is what she's gonna believe. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people, like honestly, when I was rapping about the stuff I was rapping about, I was like a dumb baby. I had no idea what I was even saying. Baby tracks. Baby tracks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I had no idea. But because it sounded cool, and that's what I heard everybody else say, yeah. I'm like, let me let me copy. And that's what a baby does. A baby copies every single thing they see their parent do. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We have to be original. We can't just be copycats, bro. We can't be. Because because God gave you your mission. Yeah. You not you know what I'm saying? People think they came here without a mission. Yeah. They were you know what I mean? Like He said He knew you before He put you out. Does God do anything that ain't perfect? Right. You know what right. I mean? We ruined that. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, he, we were supposed to come out here and do whatever we're supposed to do yeah. to God's expectation. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We get beat down. We get beat down. So, for most people, uh, man, I was just talking to a dude today, but just brought it up. But we don't think when you get with God, like, it's not going to be hard. I always want to stress this. You know what I'm saying? So, if you fight for something right now and you, and you, and you working with God to figure out what you're going to do, your desire, like he said, might not be your calling, okay? Yeah. So it has to be what God desired for you, not what you see and you desire it for. Yeah. So uh, with that being said though, God put you through things so that you can mature. You are at a, when you think you're ready, yeah. you know, that's you thinking you're ready. God's like, man, you are a hundred times better than that. I have to put this weight on you. I have to come tell this person to get at you or whatever, to build your strength right. for what you're gonna go against. Like you said, yeah. if the, and, I, and I, I almost thought they were I almost thought the industry was just all evil. I was getting to that point. Yeah. But when you said that, it just made me think like, God can put you in that industry. Yeah. Yeah, as I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I'll fear no evil. Yeah. That means I can as I walk in the industry, I will yeah. fear no evil. I'll yeah. still do my job here. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It says, it's, it's, this is crazy because the Bible says, I will make your name great mm -hmm. amongst many men. Then it says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and everything else will be added, right? Yeah. So if God is saying, I will make your name great amongst men, God will use whatever platform he has to use yeah. to get men's yeah. attention. So exactly. the industry can be meant for evil. But God will use that for, good. for the yeah. platform. If they have the, if they have, you have to be strong to get Correct. it there because you already know everybody that works with Satan. They're not over there watching TV, right? Most of the days, I'm just saying they are strategizing 24/7. Yeah. And you think you gonna walk in the industry and call your shots? Yeah. When they already know how to trick you and all right. this stuff, and they got lawyers, everybody on their team. Yeah. That's you know what I'm saying? Be for sure. So you're going to get beat down before you come up, mm -hmm. right? That's just safe to say that I would want that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Or do you want them to take advantage of you when you get to the industry? So for those trying to get into the industry, if you do want to get into the industry and that's where you feel God is putting you, then you need to put on that armor. You have to have that strength. Mm -hmm. I no longer want to be a part of something that I can't handle because I do not want to be changed. Right. I want to be me when I come out. I want to love me. Yeah. If I, I don't need to make a million dollars. I don't need a million for, uh, fans. I just want to support my family and do God's calling. Yeah. That's it because that's happiness. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like the dude that had the little rappers speaking out and I was seeing the other day, you know, he was like, this is why y'all like me. This is why y'all like me. My eyes. He said, if I didn't have this chain, if I didn't have this watch, yeah. you guys wouldn't even watch me. 
Correct. You know what I'm saying? That's real talk, bro. That's crazy. That's you know what I'm saying? So we got to start paying attention to what people are saying. You watching these rappers, but you ain't watching these rappers. Right. I yeah. always like Dave Chappelle when he said, my true fans mm -hmm. know what I mean. And this is before he left. He was like, I think it was before he left, but he said, my dude, true Dave Chappelle shit of fans know what I mean, what I'm saying. Yeah. So when he said that, I was like, man, he's saying something deep right now. Yeah. He's, he's telling you something that he can't tell you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's the same way God comes at you. You, you know, everybody, oh, I can't understand the Bible. Oh, God will, he will bring it to you. Yeah. You know, you just not listen. God's true believers hear what he's saying. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, it's, it's deep out here, man. It's gonna be dope, man. So mm -hmm. if that's anything to say, pass the track. Pass the track, <laughs> you know what I mean? Nah, man, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not, no. Yes, I do. Yes, yeah. I do. Oh, <laughs> yes, I, I, I just do. gotta rewind, bro, because uh, yeah. so just talk about your little desire real quick, about yeah. the desire to be this thing. If you really get deep just for a little bit, you'll notice that the desire is what messed up humanity. Right? You'll see that Eve desired what looked good. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. The call was, hey, y'all in the garden, you got everything you need. Yeah. But this thing called desire stepped in. And if your desire is not put in the right place, mm. you'll screw the rest of your life yeah. up. Yeah. That's all I'm yeah. saying. So when you say when you say that, are you saying like so we shouldn't desire? No, I'm okay. gonna say make sure your desire and God's desire yeah. is lined up. Yeah. Because many times our first by prayer. Mm -hmm. Prayer is God's not only, you talk to God and say, God, this is what I desire. Please let me know if my heart's in the right direction. Mm -hmm. I desire, this is gonna be deep, man, but I wanted to get married. Me and my wife got married just like this. We dated six months, we got married. Mm -hmm. Didn't ask God, I, didn't, I mean, I prayed to God, didn't hear God say nothing. Yeah. God didn't say nothing, I'm like, let's move. <laughs> like, like, God, yeah, you, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Must be a yes. Right, yeah, yeah. but whenever you move, Without God putting the stamp on it, on your own desire, you're gonna go through hell. Yeah. He'll give you grace, yeah, because that's what He does. Yeah, but you want to make sure, like God, it's my desire and your desire. Desire is not bad. Mm -hmm. Desire becomes bad when it's not what God desired for your life. Exactly. Exactly. Got gotcha. you. Yeah, you are happily married, though, right? I'm very happily married. I, I, I'm a <laughs> real girl. Yeah, hundred. Yeah, 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 yeah. uh -huh. Shout out, Desi. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Yeah, man. All right, that's dope, man. That's dope. All right. Well. That was tracks. I wanted you guys to hear that because we out here talking about God, man. Like a lot of people ain't, and we speak it up on it. Like I don't care. You like he says, like oh I'm preaching, preach. Oh well, that's yeah. what that's what this channel is all about. You <laughs> are a preacher. I can't ask you to do anything else but to preach. You know yes, what I'm saying? That's what you got. You certified for. Yes, sir. You know what I mean? And that's why you are here because you're talking about God. So yes, yes more of this, more of this. My wife followed behind the camera. Uh, <laughs> days, high born soldiers. Tracks. We out of here.